Hello everyone, my name is Chris. I am the creator of the Orgon Pyramids that you see right here on my Facebook page. And I thought I would make a video post for everyone to show some of the pyramids I have on camera so people can see how uh, large these pyramids actually are. Because sometimes the uh, pictures actually don't give it justice. And answer a couple of questions. Before I show some of the pyramids, uh, I want to let people know that all the pictures that you see as far as the pyramids are concerned are my creations. Uh, they are for sale. Um, if you look at each individual picture, they will give a description of what's in them, uh, what kind of properties they have, and also the prices of each one. So if you're looking at one that's already been pre-made, uh, just go on the picture, look at the description above uh, the comment section, and it will tell you what's in it. Uh, what it's good for use wise energy wise and how much the price is um, if you find one that you w wish to purchase all you have to do is just contact me via the Facebook email uh, let us know which one that you are looking at and then we can go from there we accept credit cards or by PayPal PayPal I do recommend is the best way uh, we can also accept check or money order but keep in mind that any check mailed we have to wait a week for it to clear, so it will take a little extra time. If you don't see something that uh, resonates with you that's already been pre-made, we can custom make pyramids. I've made a few of them custom made to order. You could let us know maybe what kind of colors you like, maybe your birthstone, uh, particular things that you find interesting, and, and I'll try and make the pyramid according to what you are what your preferences are. So far, every single person that I've, pre I've made a pyramid for have been really happy, so I'm glad to hear that. And speaking of which, if you're one of the people that have purchased one of my pyramids, uh, we would love for you to take a picture of it with you holding it and give us a little description of what you thought of it and what you thought of our service. And if you could place that here on my Facebook page, we would absolutely love that. So without further ado, I'm going to show some of the pyramids that are for sale and that are still available. Uh, one or two have already been sold, but the reason I'm going to show them is, is even if they're already sold, if you're interested in it, we can make others. Now, since each one is going to be different, they're all going to be one of a kind, even if I create one that's going to look similar. So if you see one that's already been sold, don't be discouraged. Uh, let me know you're interested in that particular type, and I could make one very similar to it. So without further ado, the first thing I want to show is the other people's organ pyramids. Now I'm not trying to do this to insult or disrespect anybody. I'm trying to show people the true way organ pyramids for them to be effective should work. Now the way that an organ pyramid is supposed to work, it's supposed to be like an ion filter. It's supposed to be levels. The way it goes is you go with, you start out with organic material which is the crystals and healing stones and then you follow it with inorganic materials, which is the metals you'll see in the pyramids. And you go one on top of the other. It's like a filtration system. Most people that I've seen, and you can go on eBay, especially people who have said that the prices may seem high, um, what I would absolutely recommend is please go on eBay and write in the search engine Organ Pyramids and see what's out there. And you'll see not only are mine very reasonably priced, but you'll get the correct way they're supposed to be created and a heck of a lot more crystals and stones in them so I welcome you to go look at the competition but I'm going to show you before I started creating them uh, some of the pyramids that I bought and I'm going to show you the difference of how they're supposed to be now I'm not saying these aren't attractive these are definitely beautiful pieces but as far as when people are buying them for the energy and the absorption of negativity you want to make sure they're done properly it's like anything so this is the first one I ever bought. This one I bought on eBay. I paid $42 for it. And I'll measure it. I have a tape measure and everything. So this way I'll do that with the pyramids so you can see how big these are. So this pyramid is 3 inches across by about 3 inches high. And I'll put it in the palm of my hand so you can see. Now, again, this is a very pretty pyramid. But as you can see, most of the people that make these pyramids do primarily, they use a lot of metal. The reason is that's the cheapest part of the pyramid. So the more metal you could fill up, 
the more profit they could make. So they fill it up with a lot of the metals. You'll see a lot of aluminum, some copper, a couple things like that. And you'll notice, like right here, there's a stone. There's a couple of little stones around. Uh, sorry about that. I got I was doing a pyramid. And I got some ink on me. So there's a nice copper coil with the quartz there. But it's not done properly. It's all mixed together, which means somebody basically took a mold, put in the quartz then put a whole bunch of stuff, just dumped it in and poured the resin in. So as attractive as this is, this is technically not really an Oregon pyramid because it's not done correctly. And I'll show a little bit larger one that I bought. This is, again, not one of mine. Now, again, if you notice, there's a lot of metal. A couple of stones here and there. So the money you're paying for this is basically for scrap. And the copper they're using here is basically... When somebody has one of those scouring pads that you wash dishes with that have the copper on them, that's copper-coated steel. So again, inexpensive way to sell a pyramid. So this one is about three and a half inches by about four inches. And again, I'll put it in the palm of my hand. All right, so now that you've seen that, let me show you some of my pyramids, the ones that are on sale. And of course, if you see anything that you like, let us know. And don't forget, um, I have that sale of any purchase of over $99 or more uh, up until June 30th, you get free shipping. So hopefully if you see this video, you'll take advantage of that, uh, save you a lot of money. Then that's for domestic shipping only, continental uh, United States, 48 states. So uh, Alaska and Hawaii, I don't know how many orders I'll get from there, but uh, that actually there would be a discounted shipping and international shipping as well. But domestic 48 states, you'll get free shipping until June 30th if you purchase anything over $99 in total. It doesn't have to be each item. So let's start with one that I just made yesterday. I haven't posted this on Facebook yet. Uh, this one is one of my smaller ones. Now this one measures about four inches by about three and a half. And as you'll see, starts out with the quartz crystal, then you have the metal, which is colored aluminum, followed by actual genuine copper nuggets. That's real copper. And these are natural turquoise stones. Now, if you know anything about turquoise, very expensive. So again, layers. So this is the first one. I'll put it in the palm of my hand so you could see. This is another one where I took a picture of it, and sometimes pictures don't do it justice. This one starts out with a tumbled tiger eye, which actually, if you put it in the light, it actually kind of reflects the light. It's actually it's very beautiful. I, I, tiger eyes is one of my favorite stones. Then you have actual brass. These are tumbled quartz crystals here with more brass, different type of grass sha uh, brass shavings. Underneath is obsidian with some steel rings and there's the bottom and again this is about three and a half inches by four inches height and it's an eight-sided pyramid so it's got beveled sides okay the next is one of the colored ones I'm gonna start doing a lot of the colored ones basically uh, colors will affect your aura and your chakra because uh, colors are just different uh, spectrums of light so colors will resonate with you. That's why I, I noticed in some of my pyramids, the ones that have the most color in them tend to get the most likes. So people will wear a certain amount of colors and have different colors as favorites. That It actually helps in the healing process, uh, again, due to the light spectrum. Color is just nothing more than separation of different spectrums of light. So this one I like to call the little jello shot. I'll put it in the palm of my hands. It's got a nice-sized coarse crystal wrapped in aluminum coil with aluminum rhinestones underneath colored with chrysocolla stones on the bottom those are natural stones and again it was dyed in actual green dye this one is three and a half inches by about four inches these are some of the smaller ones then you'll see the bigger ones that i have and you'll see the difference this one starts out with gold flakes with a little bit of selenite right underneath the crystal is below the gold, wrapped in actual copper, real copper coil. Four points right there and right there. That's natural citrine 
with again if you see this whole bottom layer that's all copper nuggets that's real copper and on the bottom is the shungite if you don't know about shungite i please i recommend you look this up this is the most healing stone i've ever seen it's only located in one area of russia uh, from a two million year old um, meteorite and it's filled with this carbon and we're carbon life forms and it just absorbs every kind of negativity so uh, this is an amazing pyramid and I'm gonna be getting a lot of that shungite it's amazing stuff three and a half inches by about four and a half inches this is one of the ones that seems to be the most favorite this one is already sold somebody bought it uh, they're coming to pick it up today but again I can make more of these so if you see one that you like you're more than welcome to let me know that even if it's sold we could make new ones for you. Uh, this one you could see again, the nice sized quartz crystals with a coil aluminum colored wrap. We have the blue aluminum rhinestones. Nope, can't see it from there. But you see these are kinites. If you know anything about kinite, um, these never need recharging. They don't absorb negativity. So these are very good stones to have. And they're also, they are very expensive. So there's a couple of pieces in there with the blue dye and again color if it resonates with you that means there might be a deficiency in that color spectrum and it can help heal so not only are you getting the energy from the Oregon pyramid you're actually getting it from the color as well so this one three and a half inches by about four and a half inches okay next now if they're starting to get a little bigger and you can see in the palm of my hand and I'll show you compared to the original one that I showed you could start to see the difference in the size. So this one starts out with a natural banded chevron amethyst point with gold plated steel which is a flowery kind of effect. These are peacock ore which actually will change a little bit of color in light. It kind of glistens so the video won't even give it credit. I, you know, I don't know if you could see right there how when I put it in the light how it kind of there you go. You can see the colors. A little bit better in person. And another uh, gold plated steel rings. And on the bottom is rainbow hematite with a couple of aluminum coils. Uh, this one, just to show, not a major flaw. See, it's even hard to see. A uh, little extra resin got spilled on it. I don't know if you can even see it. No, that's the funny part. Let's see. Uh, yeah, right here. you could barely even see it so again cosmetically I mean unless you're really looking you wouldn't even notice it but I'm offering it as a discount I think it's like a ten or twenty dollar discount just because of that minor flaw this one is about three and three quarters inches by almost five inches tall okay this one was one of the ones that I made for somebody this one's already sold but this will look similar to one that I had um, somebody liked it, and I changed it a little bit, but it's pretty much the same thing as the other. This starts out, that's a natural cis, uh, citrine crystal point with steel flower right around here and some steel nuggets. This red layer right here is carnelian stone. Then we have brass cl clippings. This layer right here is red calcite with some more brass on the bottom and all the way on the bottom the black is actually a magnetic sand so you can actually put a magnet a magnet on that and it will stick to it so it's actual natural sand with magnetic properties so this pyramid is four inches by four and a half inches all right and I appreciate everybody watching so hopefully this will help this is another one that's been really popular uh, this one I absolutely love this this has a very nice size quartz crystals. Usually I like to put large size crystals in there so you're getting the most energy because quartz is a power stone. It's wrapped in a light purplish uh, aluminum copper coil with the purple aluminum rhinestones. And then these stones all around it and in the center, uh, if you could see in the center there, that's all chevron amethysts and I don't use little speck stones I actually use decent sized pieces and on the bottom you'll see assorted pieces of brass clippings with a couple of mini stones all around 
Uh, there's Red Jasper. There's uh, Adventurine. There is a couple of pieces of um, Kynite. Some Citrine. And a little bit of Amethyst right there. So a couple of little bonus pieces there. This is 4 inches by 5 inches. Okay, now we're starting to get into bigger sizes. And you can see, again, how big they are in my hands compared to the first one. So these will get larger as we go. Okay, this one right here, we've got the quartz clear quartz crystal wrapped in copper with a copper coil, a spiral coil right underneath that helps focus the energy into a specific area. The yellow is yellow jasper, followed by a layer of brass. And again, on the bottom is the shungite. And you could see this stuff, It's uh, shungite goes, you could look it up on eBay, it goes for $50 a pound. So you could see how much stone I actually put in to the pyramids. So I don't put one or two pieces. I make sure people get their money's worth. So this pyramid is... Four and a quarter inches by about five and a half inches. This one is actually one of my favorites. I made this just last week. This is the patriotic American flag, French flag. Actually, a couple of different countries have red, white, and blue, or blue, white, and red for their colors. But I'd like to consider, since I live in the United States, that this is a United States of America patriot kind of tribute. We have... A very long clear copper quartz wrapped in the red aluminum uh, spiral. We have the silver flower shaped steel. It's sil silver coated, not real silver. This right here is carnelian stone. Then these are steel BBs. This is rainbow moonstone. If you actually look at it in different perspectives, um, different uh, sections of light, it will actually change color a little bit. There'll be an, almost like an opal kind of look to it. And then the bottom is all lapis lazuli. I want you to see this. First of all, look how deep blue those are. A lot of lapis lazuli you'll find on eBay that goes for about $17.99 a pound to $20 a pound is all gray and almost all white. The deeper the color, the more expensive it is. So you could see how much lapis lazuli I actually use. So I use a lot of material, and again, the layers in this one, because it's completely filled all the way around, is going to give the most power. But I try and make them look pretty as well. So I'll put it in my hand so you could see. This one is four and a quarter width by about five and a half height. Okay, this one I just made the other day. This one I used some yellow dye, and this is a very thick, clear quartz. You could see it in the shadow all the way around. Steel BBs with, again, the rainbow moonstone. Steel flowered BBs here. And right here, again, well, this actually is obsidian. Right there with some yellow... Aluminum rhinestones, four and a half inches by about five and a half inches. Okay, this one has a really big and very thick clear quartz crystal with brass clippings around it. This layer right here is banded amethyst, completely filling the entire layer. Brass clippings around, around here. I use a lot of brass. Brass is very expensive, but it's a beautiful looking metal. I, I try not to use those like copper shavings that most people use. The copper I use is actually real copper nuggets. And again, this is rose quartz. And again, look how much rose quartz is there. It's not one or two little pieces. The whole bottom layer is covered in it. And it has also pink aluminum rhinestones. So again, I'll hold it into my hand. This one is four and three quarters inches width by about five and a half height. This one has a purpose to it. 
This particular pyramid is based on the foot chakra. I made this one specifically for people who need to be have, feel like they need more grounding. It's a very grounding type of pyramid, so it's specifically made for the foot chakra. Uh, it starts out at the top with a hematite tumbled stone with the steel flower-like metal with a layer of obsidian, brass shavings. This is chrysocolla stone, again, all the way around, all the way into the middle with a layer of copper BBs going around. This right here is actually natural red and yellow tiger eye. That's natural tiger eye. Followed with another small layer of the steel flowers. This layer right here is actually petrified wood with brass clippings. And the whole layer here is labyrinth. Labyrinth. If you actually, it's hard to see here, but if you look at it in the light, it will reflect again. It'll look like an opal. And this right here is a double terminated quartz crystal. Double terminated crystals are very powerful. That crystal alone sells for $17. All right, so this pyramid is about five inches wide by six inches high. So they're starting to get bigger. And again, I'll compare the two. So you can see the difference of the original one I started with and the size of the pyramids. I'll even show from the bottom. Look at the size difference. Okay. Let's continue. Now this one, before I describe it, it's one of those defects. Now this one you can actually see. From here up is an actual extra layer of resin that kind of went around. So I like to be honest with people and everything and show them if there's... Because every now and then you'll come out with a defective uh, little cosmetic flaw. But as far as the power of this Oregon Pyramid, it doesn't affect the power of it at all. It's just cosmetically, it's not going to be as perfect as the others that I make. So for that, I sell this for like $30, $40 discount as opposed to what I would sell it. But again, look at the size of it in my hand. There's a very nice sized clear quartz crystal, very thick as well, wrapped in actual copper wire. Uh, this is copper flakes all along here. This again, a whole layer, as you see, all the way around, and you can see from the middle, these are tumbled lapis lazuli stones all the way around, and the base is all aluminum. So, and uh, it's also got copper, as you can see, on all four corners going all the way up and down. So that basically takes all the energy and concentrates it to a point. This is one of my favorites. It's, it, I was very disappointed when that extra layer of resin got on it, but again, still effective. So this one is about five inches wide by about five and a half inches tall. Okay, this is another one that has to do uh, with the chakras. Uh, this one is for the uh, crown chakra. Took me a second. Uh, this one, it's got a lot of energy in it. This one has a very thick clear quartz crystal with a extra, very, it's hard to see, maybe you can see from this angle, but a very thick copper coil. Because the thicker the copper, the more powerful it is because the more energy it will have. On the bottom, right underneath it, is a complete layer of kyanite stones, as you could see all the way around, not just one or two pieces. And you could see the color of the blue in them. Then you have the gold plated rings. Then you have the banded amethyst, followed by steel, that's steel shavings. This is the rainbow moonstone with brass shavings. On the bottom is peacock ore which doesn't look as good when you break it up, but it's still effective. And then, as you could see, the very large copper coil on the bottom. So again, very heavy piece, but this one is for the directly for the crown chakra. It's very uplifting. So this one is 5.5 width by 6 inch height. 
All right, we got three more to go, so thank you for being patient, and if you've watched this whole thing, I appreciate it. Uh, this was another one of my favorites. Now, I'm going to show the little defect. As you can see right here, this one, unfortunately, got dropped. So a little piece of the corner, as you can see, not much, but a little piece of the corner broke off. Other than that, it's still 100% effective, so it doesn't change the energy at all. So I like to show those things, and because of that little defect, I've discounted this like 40 to $50 off of what it would be sold for. But again, very thick, very, uh, very nice sized clear quartz crystal with a layer of smaller copper nuggets with a little bit of steel shavings in the center. This long piece right here, and all of this all around, is tiger's eye. The long piece in the center is natural tiger's eye. The rest all around are tumbled. Underneath it, if you could see right there, is a layer of selenite. That's that's another crystal that uh, does not absorb negative energy and doesn't need charging. And actually, selenite can recharge your other crystals. So if you have crystals or stones, you can either put them in the uh, the light. You could have one of those. Uh, those bells that you can have the sound resonate to charge them, or you could place them on selenite. Selenite's one of the cheaper ways, or you could just put it in the sunlight for an hour or two. Then you have three circles of copper, that's copper wire, with a couple of steel BBs, and on the bottom, again, you have the peacock ore, and it will it's a red and gold kind of crystally like color, Beautiful piece, just like I said, one corner got damaged. So this is about five and a half wide by a little bit over six inches tall. Two last ones, the bigger ones. I want you to see the difference. This is the second largest pyramid I've ever made, and you can see it almost completely fills the screen. Here's the original pyramid I showed in the beginning, and I'll show you know, from an angle. I mean, look at the difference. There you go. So, this is a little heavy. This is this got to weigh at least 20 pounds easily, and it's solid full of full-size stones. Right here is rose quartz. This is a layer of copper BBs. Then you have the banded amethyst with some brass shavings. Now, these are blue quartz. As you can see, those are full-size stones, and it goes all the way through. This is steel BBs all along here. This right here is green calcite with brass shavings, some aluminum on the bottom. Now, look at the bottom of this pyramid. Look at all the different types of stones. You have rondolite, you have wonderstone, you have amethyst, you have adventurine, you have tiger's eye, you have carnelian stone, you have moonstone, a little bit of everything. But I want you to see, look at my hand, and look at the difference of that pyramid. And again, I'll put the little one that I showed you in the beginning. This one's what you'll find on eBay, typical size. All right, and last but not least, the monster. This one takes two hands. As you can see, it takes up the entire screen, and holding it in one hand is a chore. I wouldn't recommend doing it. This thing weighs at least 30 pounds, if not more. It's heavy. Full of energy, by the way. This starts out with the amethyst on the top, surrounded by, as you can see, the layer of actual copper nuggets, followed by chrysocolla all the way around, gold-plated flowered steel metal, and again, this whole thing surrounded with lapis lazuli stones, and again, you can see solid stones all the way around, with the brass clippings here, and look at the size of these full-sized rainbow moonstones, which again, if you see them in the light, they will change color. This 
is actually steel wool. And then on the bottom is all yellow jasper with another chrysocolla in the background, um, in the center there with gold flakes. Now look at the size of that. Okay, here's my hand. So again, I'll try and put it in. Look at the difference. So sometimes seeing things in video gets you to see it a little bit better. Hopefully that will help you guys. I want you to see this actually from this point of view. Center it. You know, I take a lot of pride in my work. These take hours to create. I enjoy what I do. It originally started out as a hobby. And uh, people started really enjoying them, and then I made the Facebook page, and people were purchasing them, and they're loving the, the effects of them. So if you've purchased one of my pyramids, we'd love to hear from you. Tell us what you think about them, and hopefully this video helps you guys to understand a little bit more about what this is about. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me anytime. Leave a comment, and if you're looking to order any of the ones that I've shown you, um, just look on the page with the pictures of them, because they're all posted on my Facebook page. It will give a description of them in more detail and the prices. Or if you need a custom-made one, let me know right away. The sooner you contact me, the faster I can make them. Usually, uh, weather permitted, they're made and finished within two to three days, and I can send them out immediately. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day. Peace to everybody.